have to be honest with you, it feels good to put back on warm clothes again because, well, let's just be honest, a bucket of ice is very, very cold. Now, check this out. A lot of people out there are doing this ice bucket challenge, but how many of you people actually know what it's about? Do you really know what it's about? ALS is basically Lou Gehrig's disease, which attacks your spinal column and your brain and basically just deteriorates to the point where you can no longer control your body or do any functions whatsoever. So when you're doing this challenge, you're doing it to bring awareness of ALS, which is Lou Gehrig's disease. Now, I'm gonna do something different than most people. I'm just gonna challenge an individual. I challenge all of you, my fans, to do this. And also, the first three of you guys that actually do it and make a film and send it into us, we're gonna give you guys a shout out on our channel. We're also gonna donate $50 to the cause in your name. With that said, welcome to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm glad, like I said, to get my warm clothes on and let's jump in today's news stories. Now, while we're on the subject of ice and all that, this next you know news story actually involves, well, you know, basically cold and ice again. And it's though different, it's with overclocking. So if you're an overclocker, Give a thumbs up for that. So check this out. Chi Kai Lam of China has achieved the world's greatest overclocking with a Haswell i7-4770K. That's right, 7.1.93, almost 7.2 gigahertz of an overclock on this dang thing. It's just incredible how he did this. Now, obviously to achieve this, it's not the same as you know your daily just overclocking. This guy had to use dry ice, he had to disable some cores, had to disable hyper-threading, and at the end of the day, obviously, for anybody at home use, this is a complete waste of time. But Still, it's good to see that how far you can push this equipment and how well it'll do. Now, they achieved all this on an Asus Maximus G motherboard. And if you guys know what this is, it's a little tiny little motherboard. Overclockers love this thing. Me and Anthony loved ours. In fact, uh, we fried the crap out of ours doing some crazy overclocking, and it works just really well. There are some other parts and stuff involved in that. We'll have all that listed down below the like button in the description. But for now, Chi Kai Lam, and hey, I'm sorry, Matt, if I'm butchering your name, but I think I'm getting it right. This guy holds the world's record in any Haswell product currently out there. So thumbs up to him, and I'm sure that guy's having one hell of a time right now holding the title. Next up in the news, well, not necessarily news for all, but news for some. Tech of Tomorrow is hiring a video editor. Specifically, we're looking for someone who has a heavy background in video production, has strong knowledge in PC, and must have experience with building, testing, and benchmarking PCs. The person must also be experienced in Final Cut Pro 10 and Premiere Pro. After Effects experience is not required, but it is preferred. Like usual, all the information about this will be down below the like button in the description, but if you're really interested, send us all of your current job information to jobs at Tech of Tomorrow. Next up in the news, a story with AMD that doesn't involve a GPU, CPU, or APU. Currently, AMD is going to release some brand new R7 labeled SSDs. Now, these things are currently OCZ products, which actually was acquired by, hmm, that's right, Toshiba. So Toshiba acquired OCZ and AMD acquires well, you guys know what I'm saying. So these guys are gonna have a whole line of drives coming out now. They'll be a 120, 240, and 480 gigabyte drives. These things will have a read of 545 and a write of 530, and they come with a four-year warranty. So all in all, AMD is looking to have some pretty cool products. And I know a lot of fans out there want everything to match all red and black. Well, baby, you're gonna have that stuff really soon. Now, this next story is for both mobile lovers and for those who are in love with Windows stuff. So what am I talking about? Well, you guys all know the HTC M8, or the Mate as I like to call it, came out to a well-received audience. People love that phone. We reviewed it. You guys seem to like it just as well. Well, now these guys aren't releasing quite a new phone, but they are releasing a version of it that's not running the Android OS. It's running Windows 8.1. So if you're a guy out there, you like the Mate, but you really weren't too into the Android OS and you like the Windows stuff, well, guess what, man? Your day hath arrived. Our last story of the day. I know you guys are gonna like this one. Drum roll, please. Ah, AMD lowering its prices on September 1st. Let's talk about it. The move is designed to make the FX series more competitive against Intel's Core i3 and Intel Core i5 products based on the Hazel refresh and the Devil's Canyon designs. The price of the AMD FX 9590, which currently retails for 225 pounds, will be dropped to 175 pounds. And the price of the AMD FX 6300 with its six cores will be reduced to around 70 pounds. Now the price we quoted are in pounds. We're not gonna translate that directly into American money due to the fact that these things could fluctuate and change, but regardless, for AMD fans, prices dropping is always an awesome thing. 
Well, all right, fans, that about wraps up today's video. Thank you all very much for being here. Like usual, all the information that I talked about will be down there below that like button in the description where it says show more. Just click on that and everything will be down there below. Also, for the people who are looking for jobs, once again, that will be at jobs at tech of tomorrow. And for you people out there who are going to do the ice bucket challenge, hey, we're looking forward to seeing your videos. So remember, the first three to get their videos into us will be the winners. And we'll donate that 50 bucks in your name and give you guys a shout out here on Tech of Tomorrow. So I'm Elric. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you guys back here on YouTube for more videos later this week.